strong. potential Philippines interested in acquiring two stealth-capable warships for the Philippine Navy. The Miko A-210 could be another potential candidate for the Philippine Navy's frigate requirements, but we expect a lesser degree of lethality, a smaller gun, reduced VLS tubes, less capable sensors and EU systems, and fewer anti-ship missiles, due to cost considerations. TKMS is interested in even offering this to the Philippine Navy. During Indo-Pacific 2023, ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems TKMS, unveiled their third-generation Miko frigate design, called the Miko A210. The company also confirmed their intent to offer the design to the Philippine Navy PN, as part of any requirement for Tier 2 inches combatants. German shipbuilder ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems TKMS, has revealed their candidate for the Tier 2 warship requirements of the Royal Australian Navy with their Miko A210 light warship design with an inverted bow design. Based on the scale model presented at the Indo-Pacific 2023 Defense Exhibition in Sydney, the ship has a 127mm naval gun, 4x8 cell VLS, 4X quadruple anti-ship missile launchers, two RCWS with medium caliber guns, and a CIWS. Two triple torpedo launchers appear to be hidden inside an openable superstructure panel. It also utilizes the C Technologies CEAFAR phase array radar, space for mission modules, and a comprehensive electronic warfare suite. No mention on dimensions and displacement, but from the looks of it, it could be close to the size of Naval Group's FDI frigate which also has an inverted bow design like the Miko A210 which is around 120 plus meters long and at least 3,800 tons displacement. Rear Admiral, retired, Jonathan Kamerman, a senior naval advisor at TKMS, told Naval News that the Miko A210 was a natural evolution of the Miko A200, which was itself an evolution of the Miko 200. The Miko 200 was also the reference design for the RAN Anzac class frigates, which were originally acquired as a lower end capability to supplement tier 1 inch warships, he pointed out. The new design retains its predecessors combined diesel and gas water jet and refined propeller, Kodag warp propulsion systems. Kodag warp pairs up two diesel engines with two propellers and a single gas turbine with a centerline mounted water jet. This, Kamerman said, allows the Miko A210 design to achieve high speeds when needed while retaining substantial redundancy. What it does not retain, however, is its size. Whereas the A200 tops out at around 3,600 tons, the A210 displaces more than 4,700 as currently designed. It is also slightly longer than the A200, which allows it to accommodate 32 strike length MK.41 vertical launching system VLS, cells forward of the bridge. In addition to the MK.41 VLS, the design is also armed with 16 naval strike missiles NSM, a 127mm Volcano main gun, multiple remote weapon stations, a conventional close-in weapons system, CIWS, as well as a directed energy weapon, DU, in this case the MBDA Rheinmetall 20KW Laser Waffen Demonstrator, LWD. To feed the LWD DU, the design has substantial power generation and storage capabilities. These, Kamerman said, exceed the demands of the 20KW system and are intended to keep the ship relevant into the future as more powerful dues come online. As part of TKMS future proofing efforts, the design incorporates a large mission bay, which can be used for uncrewed vessels, underneath the NSM launchers. 
It also has space allocated for ISO containerized payloads on top of the hangar, behind the CIWS. At Indo-Pacific 2023, this space was used by two containers containing missile launchers associated with the Rheinmetall Skyshield Short Range Air Defense System SHORAD. Naval News regular contributor Alex Luck believes these would be capable of deploying Iris TSLS or ESSM Block II missiles. The design was also shown with a CCEAFAR radar something that is nearly ubiquitous across the Tier 2 combatant competitors, as well as a towed array sonar. Kamerman told Naval News that the design, which has been in the works for many months, had progressed as far through the design phase as any design does before securing a firm order. While the company wouldn't be drawn on details of cost, schedule, and Australian industry involvement, it did confirm that it is in discussions with an undisclosed local partner about supporting a possible build.